So before this video starts, I recorded this before Telvin Smith retired for the year, but I think he is going to come back next year. So I'm just going to keep this up and roll right on. So I hope you guys enjoy the video. Hey, what's going on, guys? My name is Lane. Today, we're doing a realistic rebuild of the Jacksonville Jaguars. We do have the updated rosters. So we have all the rookies in here. Jawan Taylor's on the team. Josh Allen's on the team. But if you didn't know, I do new rebuilds every Sunday at 3 p.m. Eastern. I also have a Patreon. We can watch my videos two days early and get an exclusive video a week. One of those in the month will be a realistic rebuild. But let's go check out the team. We have an 80 overall team, 79 offense, 87 defense. And our starting quarterback is Nick Foles. He's a 79 overall, normal development, 29 years old. He's a lot better than Blake Bortles, but that's not saying much. 91 throw power, 79 deep accuracy, 81 medium, 87 short. I don't know if he's the long-term solution. We'll probably give him two years, then maybe trade him. We'll see how it pans out. Our starting running back's Leonard Fournette, 82 overall, quick development, 23 years old. 83 break tackle, 92 speed, 90 acceleration, 88 agility. He'll be here the rest of the way. Our starting number one receiver is Marquise Lee. 81 overall, quick development, 26 years old, 89 speed, 91 acceleration, 86 catching, 83 catch in traffic. I love the receivers on Jacksonville. D.D. Westbrook, 81 overall, quick development, 24 years old, 93 speed, 92 acceleration, 84 catching, 82 catch in traffic. Our number three guy is Keelan Cole, 79 overall, quick development, 25 years old. We have potential to have a great, great receiving corpse if they, if they like come along the way they should be. 90 speed, 92 acceleration, 81 catching, 86 catch in traffic. Our starting tight end is James O'Shaughnessy. 76 overall, normal development, 26 years old. 83 speed, 81 catching, 74 run block, 74 awareness. Our starting right tackle is the rookie Jawan Taylor. 76 overall, quick development, 21 years old. 79 strength, 80 run block, 85 pass block. Our starting right guard is Can. 75 overall, normal development, 26 years old. 89 strength, 79 run block, 75 pass block. Really not that bad, but we could get a little bit better there. Our starting center is Linder, 86 overall, quick development, 26 years old. 89 strength, 86 run block, 88 pass block. We are fine at center. Our starting left guard is Norwell, 84 overall, star development, 26 years old. 87 strength, 82 run block, 85 pass block. Same thing, we're fine at left guard. And then our starting left tackle is Pinnell, 77 overall, normal development, 32 years old. 84 strength, 81 run block, 81 pass block. So on offense, we do need another quarterback eventually, but not right now. We need another right guard, in my opinion, and another left tackle. And I guess another, like a good tight end, I should say. Other than that, I think our receivers are fine. Obviously, Fournette's fine. Taylor, Linder, Noel, absolutely fine. But let's go check out the defense. Obviously, the defense is a strong part of this team, and our starting number one corner is Jalen Ramsey. He's a 95 overall, superstar development, 23 years old. 92 speed, 95 man, 93 zone, 95 play rec. He'll be here the rest of the way. Our number two guy is AJ Boye. 88 overall, star development, 27 years old. 89 speed, 86 man, 88 zone, 91 play rec. So we are fine at corner. We also have Hayden, 75, 76 overall. Normal development, 28 years old. 91 speed, 74 man, 77 zone, 74 play rec. Our starting right end, and I will get this wrong, Yannick Ngakwe. I think that's right, actually. 85 overall, quick development, 23 years old, 80 power moves, 89 finesse, 82 speed, 88 acceleration. There was a problem that Josh Allen is an edge defender, but I don't know where to play him. We have Campbell, we have Ngakwe, so I guess we're just going to have to stick him at left outside linebacker. Our starting defensive tackle is Darius, 84 overall, quick development, 28 years old, 94 strength, 79 block shed, 77 power moves, 57 finesse. Our starting defensive tackle two is Jones, 77 overall, quick development, 26 years old. That's good because Darius will be gone sooner rather than later. 88 strength, 76 block shed, 78 power moves, 67 finesse. Our starting left end is Calais Campbell, 93 overall, star development, he is 32 years old. 86 power moves, 89 finesse, 73 speed, 83 acceleration. I don't think he has one year left, I think he has probably two, he has three. So in real life he has two. So we'll probably trade him after year two, but that'll be fine. Our starting, let's go to defense. Our starting strong safety is Harrison. 74 overall, quick development, 21 years old. 86 speed, 80 zone, 71 tackle, 76 pursuit. He will be fine if he comes along, but we shall see. Our starting left outside linebacker, obviously Josh Allen. 81 overall, quick development, 21 years old. 85 tackle, 78 hit power, 85 speed, 88 acceleration. Our starting middle linebacker is Miles Jack. 84 overall, star development, 22 years old. 87 speed, 83 tackle, 74 block shed. Wow, 74 block shed, 83 hip power. Our starting right outside linebacker is Telvin Smith. 
86 overall, star development, 27 years old. 81 tackle, 86 hit power, 88 speed, 89 acceleration. And our starting free safety is Cody Davis, whoever that is. 75 overall, normal development, 29 years old. He won't be here long term. So on defense, we're going to need another left end, even though I could probably put Josh Allen there. If Calais Campbell does go downwards, which he will. We're fine with Telvin Smith, Miles Jack. Harrison should be fine. Our corners are fine. Right end defensive tackles are fine. So we really don't have to worry about much. We have a 95% scheme fit on defense, 88% on offense. So let's go to the midseason mark. At the midseason mark, we are 4-4. Four four. The Texans are 5-2-1. and one. Colts also 4-4. Four and, four. and the Titans 3-3-1. Three, three and one. That makes sense. Who is going to be a free agent at the end of the year? Josh Lambeau, our kicker, I'll bring back. Wilson's there as well. Let's just give him, you know, we'll give him four years, actually, what he wanted. He's, oh, really? I thought he was going to resign. Wilson probably should bring him back as a backup. Why are we staring at the desk like that? Two years. Let's give him three years just to make it a little bit easier. 1.5, 500K. Patman, no. Borders, no. I probably should bring back our fullback, even though he's a 66 overall. Three years, 850, 210. Okay, he's going to resign. That's good. Let's go to the playoffs. Hopefully, Nick Foles can bring us there. I don't know if I should be surprised or not, because I do think the Texans are a little bit better than the Jaguars. I don't think the Colts are, and I think the Jaguars are better than the Titans. But let's see how we did. We went 8-8. Eight eight. The Titans did do better than us at 9-6-1. The Texans 10-5-1, and the Colts 7-8-1. What happened to the Colts? Nick Foles, 3,600 yards, 22 touchdowns, and 19 interceptions. Really? That's unbelievably bad. Fournette, 945 touchdowns. Blue with five touchdowns. Receiving. D.D. Westbrook, about 1,000 yards, six touchdowns. Elite, 814 with five touchdowns. Keelan Cole, 683 with two. O'Shaughnessy, 500 yards with four. Fournette with two. Swain with three. One for Oliver. On defense, Miles Jack, 148 tackles. Smith, 116. Boye, 108. Josh Allen only got 70. That's surprising. Sack totals. Calais Campbell, 16 and a half. Wow. Ngakwe with eight. Josh Allen with seven. Darius with seven. Six and a half for Smith. Four and a half for Jones. Two and a half for Jacobs. Two for Harrison. Interceptions. Three for Boye and Ramsey. Two for Harrison and Jack. One for Smith and Hayden. Are we going to have any safeties this time around? No and no. Yearly Awards. Todd Gurley with the MVP. Big surprise. Russell Wilson, Goff, Mariota. I don't think Mariota's that good. At least in my opinion. Coach of the Air, Hugh Jackson. AFC Offensive Player of the Year, Marcus Mariota. Do we have anybody from the Jaguars? No. Defensive Player of the Year, Miles Jacks there. That's awesome winning it. A bunch of Patriots. I mean, Zach Brown's not on the Patriots, but okay. Nobody else. The, our Offensive Rookie of the Year. We do not have any Jaguars up here. Defensive Rookie of the Year, Josh Allen maybe? Okay, it's a number 10. Really not that good. Who else from their draft class? There's Bush. Uh, that's it? Just Bush? I was expecting a few more than that. What do we have for XP? Foles doesn't have a single point. A bunch of the offensive line. Two for Fournette. One for Lee and Westbrook. One for Keelan Cole. On defense, Josh Allen only has two. Harrison with two. Nine for Miles Jack. Wow. A bunch in the defensive line. Two for Ramsey. One for Boye. None for Hayden. Huh. All right. Let's find out who's going to win the Super Bowl. The Cleveland Browns beat the Dallas Cowboys 21-14. Baker Mayfield winning the Super Bowl in his second year. Where are we? Mayfield, 282 touchdowns with an interception. Prescott, 150 with a touchdown. I'm just not a huge fan of Prescott. Elliott, 85 yards with a touchdown. Hunt, 60 with a touchdown. Chubb with 14. Receiving Odell Beckham, 11 for 150. Najoku, 4 for 27. Harris, 4 for 38 with a touchdown. Cobb, 28 yards. Landry with 30. Elliott, 22. Cooper, 15. Wow, what happened there? Traded a first round draft pick for him. He gets 15 yards. Now, I believe we're good to go on our own free agents other than Lambo. And free agency, usually year one's bad. That's why I'm going to do five years for this. Lambo's an 80 overall, 28 years old. Let's give him five years. Why not? He's going to resign. Good. Everyone else, I'm not really worried about. Let's take a quick peek at free agency. I think it's going to be like Oskowski, Ajahi, Sue, just like it is every single year. 21.43 million, though. There's Sue, there's Ajahi, Trent Murphy. I could have named all these guys, but we are fine with that. Let's go to the draft. With the 14th pick in the first round, we're taking right guard Jimmy Tiller. He's an 80 overall with quick development, 24 years old, 91 strength, 82 run block, 77 pass block. 
I think we are going to take a quarterback in the second round, but I'm not sure which one to take. A minus throw power, B plus medium accuracy, B plus throw on the run. And he has B plus throw power, B plus short accuracy, and medium accuracy. I think Blair Schmidt's the way to go. Let's take him. He's a 78 overall, quick development, 22 years old. 89 throw power, 76 deep accuracy, 88 medium, 89 short. So he'll probably start not this year coming up, but next year. In the third round, we're going to take a cornerback, Corey Strong. I think that's how you'd say that. 74 overall, norm development, 22 years old. 89 speed, 75 man, 68 zone, 70 play rec. In the fourth round, we're going to take free safety, Lawrence Merling. Look at his combine. Pretty good. 72 overall, that's not really good. Norm development, 22 years old. 85 speed, 80 zone, 78 tackle, 75 pursuit. In the fifth round, we're going to take a running back, Willis Ellis. That doesn't sound good. 70 overall, Norm development, 23 years old. 82 break tackle, 84 speed, 83 acceleration, 82 agility. Heading into year two, we have an 83 overall team, 81 offense, 91 defense. Foles didn't go up or down. He's still a 79 overall. He will be gone by the start of next year. Fournette, 84. Lee, 82. Westbrook, 82. Coles at 80. O'Shaughnessy, 77. On the offensive line, Taylor, 77. Tiller, 80. Linder, 87. Noel, 85. And Robson, 75. On defense, Ramsey, 97, which is awesome. Hayden, 76. And Gakwe, 90, or 87, rather. Darius, 84. Jones, 78. Campbell, 91. Boye, 89. Harrison, 76. Allen, 83. Jack, 93. Jake Ryan's at 80. Smith, 88. And Merling's at 72. We have an 88% scheme fit on defense, a 90% scheme fit on offense. So we're good to go. Let's go to the midseason mark. Somehow Nick Foles heard that I might cut him at the end of the season. We are 6-1, tied with the Texans at 6-1. Colts 2-5, the Titans 1-5-1. What happened there? Who is going to be a free agent? That is Jalen Ramsey. He is coming back to my team. Miles Jack, same thing. I think that was Ngakwe too. Let's see. Five years. We'll do six years. We're going to try to make it somewhat realistic. So $9 million, That's probably not realistic. He's probably going to get like $15 million. But we'll do $9 million, six years. He's going to resign. Obviously, Miles Jack is going to come back. Six years, $5 million, 2.5. We still have $42 million to spend. Keelan Cole. Now, that's a little iffy. $8 million, five years. Let's do that offer right there. He's going to resign. That's good. What is Cole going to cost? Three years. Let's go four years, 4.4. That's good. Okay. Anybody else? Parnell, no. Blue, no. Wells, Payne. I don't want any of these guys. All right. Let's go to the playoffs. Hopefully, we make it. Yes, we made the playoffs at 10-6, and six, but we did win our division. That's surprising. The Texans went 11-5. We went 10-6. and six, Colts 8-8. Eight and, eight, and the Titans 6-9-1. and one. Take a look at the stats. Nick Foles, 4,000 yards, 26 touchdowns, 10 interceptions. Not that bad, but I think I still want to let him go. Fournette, 12 in yards, 11 touchdowns. Blue with five, Foles with one. But if he does win us a Super Bowl, might have to stick with them. Marquise Lee, 850, five touchdowns. Westbrook, 12 in yards, 12 touchdowns. Incredible year. O'Shaughnessy, 640 with five. Keelan Cole, 600 yards with two. Fournette and Swain with one. On defense, Miles Jack, 137 tackles. Smith, 107. Sack totals, 10 for Calais Campbell. Five and a half for Allen, four for Ngakwe. Three and a half for Darius, two for Jacobs. Interceptions, four for Ramsey, three for Jack, two for Smith and Boye, one for Harrison and Hayden. What else do we need? Oh, okay, wow. A safety for Ngakwe, two touchdowns for Jalen Ramsey. So we should be in the discussion for defensive play of the year, I hope. Russell Wilson, MVP, Watson, Elliott, Hunt, Goff, Mayfield. Nobody from our team, of course. Coach of the year. Hey, we're right there at number seven. AFC Offensive Play of the Year, Kareem Hunt won it. Nobody from the Jaguars. Defensive Play of the Year, Miles Jack, back-to-back. -back. No Jalen Ramsey, though. Okay. Offensive Rookie of the Year. Defensive Rookie of the Year. Hey, Merling at number eight. He probably still got, like, one XP point or two. What do we have for XP, though? What are we right now? We're an 83 overall team. We have a good amount of the offensive line. Three for D.D. Westbrook. None for Marquise Lee. One for Cole, one for Fournette and Nick Foles, one for Schmidt. On defense, four for Miles Jack, because he's about to be a 99 overall. Allen only got one. Harrison with three, that's good. Two for Merling, that's what I said. Two for Ramsey, one for Boye, two for Ngakwe. I was expecting a lot more out of Josh Allen, I have to be honest. Let's upgrade our team. What are we right now, an 83 overall team? If we can't be, like, beat Sam Darnold in the Jets, like, come on. Really? I know they have C.J. Mosley, Leonard Williams, all that, but come on. 
85 overall team. Can we get to the divisional round of the playoffs? Yes, we can. We're playing against the 12 and 4 Cleveland Browns. Now that's going to be a tough matchup. So tough that I'm going to upgrade my teams again. Josh Allen got an XP point. That's good to see. Let's see. Can we beat Baker Mayfield? Get to that conference championship. No, we cannot. We lost 38 to 24. That is not a good sign. Nick Foles, did you let me down? Moment of truth, buddy. Baker Mayfield, 303, three touchdowns, two interceptions. Foles, a 62 rating. 181, one touchdowns, one interception. You are a long gone. Rushing, Hunt, 20 rushes, 109 with a touchdown. Fournette, 69 yards with two touchdowns. Chubb with a touchdown, receiving. Beckham, 8 for 103 with a touchdown. Landry, 69 yards with a touchdown. Njoku, 75 with a touchdown. Westbrook, 82. Marquise Lee with a touchdown. Fournette with 43 yards. Nothing else too exciting. So what is the Super Bowl probably going to be? Browns versus Cowboys again? Somehow it's going to be Broncos versus Seahawks, which makes no sense. I don't know how the Broncos are even here. The Browns decimated the Seahawks 42-20. to Let's take a look at the stats. See how DK Metcalf did. Mayfield, 250, two touchdowns. Wilson, what happened? 250, one touchdown, three interceptions, though. Yikes. Hunt, 131, two touchdowns. Carson, 94 with a touchdown. Chubb, 54 with a touchdown. Uh, is that a fumble? By who? Fumble by Landry. Okay. Receiving Beckham, 96 yards. Metcalf, 6 for 47. Lockett, 71 yards. Baldwin, 41. Landry, 41. Njoku with a touchdown. Rupkowski with a touchdown. Disley with a touchdown. 72 yards for Nick Bennett. Not really sure who that is. Did, and did anybody turn us down? I don't remember. Somebody did. I thought. Maybe not. With Parnell, no. I guess not. I thought somebody turned us down. It's not a huge deal, but. Let's go to free agency. I think we have about 20, 25 million to spend. Or 17 million. What happened to 10 million? I don't know. Derrick Henry's there. Absolutely not. Ebron. Ooh. I know I bring him in a lot. I'm a huge fan. And we really do need a tight end. I don't think we need any of these other guys. Maybe Ogba if we got rid of Campbell, but I'd rather put Josh Allen down there at left end. Moore is there as a number three guy. Wouldn't be a terrible idea. Boy is getting up there in age. Let's start off with Josh, or not Josh Allen, Eric Ebron. Let's go ugh, five years. I don't know about that. Is there any other tight ends there? I really don't want to do that. Ebron Higby's there. You know, we're going to have to. He's getting 90 points from the Broncos. Let's go 6 million. 3.5. Obviously, we only have three more years of this, so that's a lot, but that'll do the trick. Now, who was it? Not Lawson. Oh, Kenny Moore. 25 years old. Norman development. Let's give him four years. 3.4, 1.83. A $20 million offer. That'll be fine. We're fine. At, we, I guess we need another linebacker if I'm going to move Josh Allen down. Sean Lee's there. Raglan. Actually, Jake Ryan, we could move over in theory. Mingo, Shane Ray. Maybe Sean Lee for just one year? I'm going to give him a one-year offer, and that'll be enough. All right, let's advance the week. We have 5,000 coach XP, which is good. I do do that off screen, by the way. Let's see. We got Ebron, we got Moore, we got Sean Lee. Great. Let's go to the draft. With the 26th pick in the first round, we're taking left outside linebacker Diarius Norris. First in the three cone in the 20 yard, third in the 40 yard dash. He's a 77 overall, no development, 24 years old, 79 tackles, 77 hit power, 84 speed, 89 acceleration. I know we just signed Eric Ebron, but we're going to draft a tight end, Blaine Strickland. He's a 75 overall, no development, 21 years old. 70 speed, 80 catching, 60 run block, 63 awareness. Why does that seem like so many attributes? Isn't it usually just three rows? I don't know, but that wasn't really a great pick. In the third round, we're going to take a running back, Poppy Mayo. What a name. 70 overall, norm development, 23 years old. 81 break tackle, 83 speed, 83 acceleration, 83 agility. So I put Calais Campbell on the trade block as well as Nick Foles, but nobody wants Nick Foles. But Calais Campbell, on the other hand, what can we get? A third from the Ravens, a fourth and the sixth from the Chiefs, a third and the seventh from the Bengals. Let's trade him to the Bengals. So I ended up cutting Nick Foles. So we have an 85 overall team, 85 offense, 91 defense. Schmitz a 79, Fournette 85, D. Westbrook 85, Lee 82, Cole 81. Ebron 88, Taylor 78, Taylor 81, Linder 88, Noel 85, Robson 76. We still need a new left tackle. 
on defense. Ramsey, 99. Moore, 83. And Gakwe, 89. Darius is an 80. Jones, 78. Josh Allen up to an 87. Boy, 89. Harrison, 79. Lee's an 80. Jack, 97. Ryan, 80. Smith, 89. And Merling's a 74. We have a 91% scheme fit on defense, 81 on offense. Let's go to the midseason mark. At the midseason mark, we are 5-3. and three. The Colts are 5-2. and two. Texans, 5-3. and three. And the Lonely Titans at 2-5. and five. Who's going to become a free agent? I believe that's going to be Josh Allen because this game doesn't make any sense. Yeah, he is there. We will bring him back. Fournette, 25 years old, 85 overall. Let's go here. Just make that offer. Nice offer. Just need to improve the bonus now. Okay, D.D. Westbrook, 85 overall. So many young players. Let's go there. Let's go here. $50 million offer. Good. He's star development too. Josh Allen, I'm just going to extend him long term. Doesn't really matter. He should have, what, three more years left, so... Yeah, he should be on this team. He's going to resign. That's good. Jake Ryan. As a backup, it's not a terrible idea. Four million, or four years, two million. He's going to resign. Sean Lee, no. Taylor say, actually, did he get taken in the second round? I think he did, but still. That would leave him, what, two more years? So I'm going to give him five years right here. He should just take this because we have, what, two more years left after this, so that's fine. Jones, defensive tackle. He's 28 years old. I don't know about that. Conley, no. O'Shaughnessy, no. Robinson's only 24. Quick development. He's not coming along the way I want him to. We can't sign him yet anyways. But let's go to the playoffs. We ended up making the playoffs in 9-7. and seven. We'll be playing against the 11-5 Browns. Let's see. The Texans 11-5. The Colts 7-9. The Titans 6-9-1. Let's see how Schmidt did. 3,500 yards. 35 touchdowns. 8 interceptions. That's an awesome touchdown interception ratio. Rushing. Fournette. 1,200 yards. 4 touchdowns. Ellis with 6. Receiving. Ebron, 768, seven touchdowns. Cole, 679 with five. Westbrook, 900 yards with 10 touchdowns. Lee, 472 with six. What else do we have? O'Shaughnessy with five touchdowns. How? I don't really get it. Williams with a touchdown. Barnum with a touchdown. On defense, Telvin Smith, 123 tackles. Jack with only 112. What happened there? Sack totals, six for Ngakwe, five for Allen, three and a half for Brian, three and a half for Darius, three for Smith. Interceptions, three for Smith, Harrison, and more. One for Jack and Ramsey. Where's Boye? Safety count. Hey, we have a safety for Josh Allen. Defensive touchdown. Nothing, of course. Yearly awards. Ezekiel Elliott. Hey! Sanderson, Watson, Prescott's there for some reason. Rivers, Hunt. No Jaguars. Hudson, whoever that is. Coach of the year, Anthony Lynn. AFC Offensive Player of the Year, Sanderson. No Jag. Never mind. Schmidt's at number 10. I'd like to see that. Defensive Player of the Year, Smith at number 2. Knows Miles Jack, really? Okay. Offensive Rookie of the Year. Hey, we have Bartram at number eight. Defensive Player of the Year, Defensive Rookie of the Year. Nothing. I hope Schmidt just has like four XP, five XP. Nope, he has one. Awesome. We have three for DD Westbrook, so he's been up to an 88. A few in the offensive line. Robinson's not really coming along. Neither is Taylor, really. On defense. We have two for Josh Allen, so it'll be an 89. Five for Harrison, which is awesome. Two for Merling. We still need another free safety, though. More with one. So we're fine at corners. Actually, let's just upgrade our team. We'll go over this before the draft. We're an 85 overall team. We should go up to like an 87. Five for Ronnie Harrison. He really is coming along. What do we get up to? 87 overall team. All right. Can we beat Baker Mayfield? Probably not, but let's try anyways. There we go. 28 to 14. They're really going to be the one road stop or one roadblock, rather, from us getting to the Super Bowl. It's, it's so obvious. 28 to 14. Mayfield, 318 with a touchdown. Schmidt, 200 yards with a touchdown. Better than Nick Foles, though. Hunt, 82 yards with two touchdowns. Chubb with a touchdown. Fournette with a touchdown. Receiving Landry, 53 yards with a touchdown. Njoku, 59. Beckham, 81. A touchdown for Ebron. 59 for Callaway. I think Callaway's going to do great next season in real life. Nothing else too exciting. We do have Josh Oliver. I know that, but I just don't really think he's that great of a catching tight end. At least in my opinion. Just saying. He's a 76 overall in this. So that's really not that bad. He has no development, though. I'd rather Ebron. I feel like Ebron was a free agent next year. They probably would bring him in. But let's find out who's going to win the Super Bowl. The Houston Texans beat the Atlanta Falcons 34-31. to The Falcons can't catch a break. Wow. Let's say they scored 17. The Texans scored 17 in the fourth quarter. It always happens to the Falcons. That's so funny. Watson, 283 touchdowns with an interception. Matt Ryan, 254 touchdowns with an interception. He had a great game. Eckler, 121 with a touchdown. Freeman, 67 yards. Alex Collins with 34. 
Receiving Fuller 68 yards, Cody 56, Hopkins 84 with a touchdown, Julio Jones 32, tu or 32 touchdowns, 32 yards with two touchdowns, Ridley 39 yards, Freeman with a touchdown, two for Warring, whoever that is. Why did I go look at the defense? We have one guy that turned us down, I remember that, I don't remember who it is though. Oh yes, that's right, Leonard Fournette. Sean Lee went from an 80 to a 76. Let's go five years. I forget what he wanted to work on. I thought it was the length. But I I, I don't know. Okay, he's going to resign. That's good. Lee, no. Jones, no thanks. Conley, no. O'Shaughnessy, absolutely not. Robinson, I should bring back. Just in case we can't get another left tackle. He's going to resign. That's good. Can, no. Hayden, no. So we need to work. Let's go to our team real quick. We obviously need a left tackle. We're going to stick with Schmidt for two more years. So we're fine there. On defense... Defensive tackle help, left outside linebacker help, even though Norris should be fine starting. Does he have normal development? He does. So we need defensive tackles, a free safety. Basically fine everywhere else, in my opinion. Let's go to free agency, see if any of those positions are there. 23.55 million to spend. Kareem Hunt's there, Lindsey Cohen, of course. David's there, 31 years old, so no. Gibson's 31, Nikhil Harry wouldn't be there. Justin Houston, Jernigan. Trubisky, Malcolm Jenkins, Metcalf. Let's go to free safety. Kazi wouldn't be bad, but he's 28 years old. Colbert could probably get somebody in the draft. Left tackle. Dillard's there. He wouldn't really be there. Little wouldn't be there. Smith, Harrison. No thanks. Levante David, Hightower. Is Davis being... He is being sought after. Okay. Milano's there, though. Ooh. 82 overall. He's a scheme fit. Let's see if that does it. 98 points. That does put us in the lead. We still have a little bit of money left over. But I don't really see anyone I want to bring in. Because, yeah, our receivers are fine. Riley Ridley wouldn't be there. Let's advance the week. See if we get him. I imagine we will because we're beating the other guy out by like 13, 14. Good, we got Matt Milano on the team. Let's go to the draft. With the 23rd pick in the first round, we're taking a left tackle, Javante Brandon. He's a 79 overall with star development. That's exactly what we need. 23 years old, 90 strength, 76 run block, 85 pass block. Awesome. In the second round, I'm going to take a defensive tackle, Paul Fuller. He is a scheme fit. 74 overall, quick development, 21 years old. That's a good pick. 87 strength, 79 block shed, 70 power move, 66 finesse. In the third round, we're going to take our free safety, Dre Gilbert. Look at his combine grades. Third in the bench press, fifth in the three cone in the 20 yards, second in the vertical jump, third in the broad jump. He's a 73 overall. That's not really going to cut it. You're not going to start. Normal development, 23 years old. 84 speed, 80 zone, 76 tackles, 74 pursuit. With our other third round draft pick, we're going to take left outside linebacker, Gordon Blunt. He's a 74 overall, normal development, 21 years old. 76 tackles, 79 hit power, 79 speed, 84 acceleration. Heading into year four, we're an 87 overall team, 87 offense, 93 defense. Schmitz in 80, Fournette 87, Westbrook 88, Lee and Kohler 81s. Ebron 89, the offensive line 79, 82, 87, 85, 79. Our offensive line's looking great. On defense, Ramsey 99, Moore 84, and Gawkway 91, Darius 77, Fuller 74, Allen 89. Boye 87, Harrison 84, which is awesome. Milano 83, Jack 99, Ryan 79, Smith 86, and Merling 76. So we're an 82% scheme fit on defense and 74 on offense. Really not that great, but we're going to stick with it. Let's go to the midseason mark. At the midseason mark, we are somehow 3 and 5, probably because Madden 19 simulation is terrible. But the Texans are 7 and 1, Colts 5 and 3, Titans 2 and 5. I don't really get it. Who's going to be a free agent? Is that Boye? It is. He's 30 years old. Maybe make one more run at it. We have 47 million to spend. Okay, yeah, we can definitely do that. Let's give him one year, 4.2. He's going to resign. Smith, I'll bring back. Harrison, I'll definitely bring back. Three years for Telvin Smith. Sure, why not? He's going to resign. That's awesome. Harrison's there. Brian's there. We don't really need Brian, though. Harrison is back. Brian and Marquis Lee, probably not. Cook, I'll bring back. Darius, I definitely won't bring back. Our punter's back. Hip, hip, hooray. Kark Jr., no. Do we bring back Brian just as a backup? 
Let's see if he takes this offer. Okay, he is. All right, that's fine. Let's go to the playoffs, even though we're somehow going to miss it. What are we, like an 80? Yeah, we're an 87 overall team that's going to miss the playoffs. Makes total sense. And there it is. We ended up missing the playoffs. How did we do? We went 7-9, and nine, tied with the Titans. Texans 13-3, and three, the Colts 9-7. and seven. Take a look at the stats. Schmidt, 3,600 yards, 27 touchdowns, 11 interceptions. Pretty average season. Rushing, Fournette, 1,300 yards, 7 touchdowns. Stingley with 10. Receiving. Westbrook, about 1,300 yards, 8 touchdowns. Lee, 763 with 6. Ebron, 552 with 6. Colin Fournette with 2. Oliver with 3. Guess he's going to prove me wrong. 133 tackles for Miles Jack, 119 for Smith. Sack totals 11.5 for Ngakwe, 6 for Allen, 4 for Smith, 2 for Jack and Brian. Interceptions. 5 for Jalen Ramsey, 4 for Jack, 3 for Boye, 2 for Harrison and Smith, and more. 1 for Strong and Merling. Merling's really not doing that bad. No safeties, but we do have a defensive touchdown by Ronnie Harrison. Nice. Yearly Awards. Deshaun Watson with the MVP. No Jaguars. Coach of the Year, Bill O'Brien. AFC Offensive Player of the Year, Watson, obviously. No Jaguars. Defensive Player of the Year, Miles Jack. Awesome. Nobody else. Offensive Rookie of the Year. Demarcus Stingley. I didn't even show you guys him. Thought he was going to be a nothing pick. Defensive Rookie of the Year. Nothing. Let's see what we got for XP. Come on, Schmidt with six. Two. So we've been 82 overall. The offensive line's looking awesome, which is good. Pretty good at the other positions. What about on defense? We have three for Allen, so he's going to be a 92. Harrison's going to be an 86. We're in really good shape. Merling's going to be a 79. Everyone's still pretty young. Let's find out who's going to win the Super Bowl. The Cleveland Browns beat the Atlanta Falcons 35-28. to Let's take a look at the stats. And the Falcons made a late charge, 22 points in the fourth quarter. Baker Mayfield, 320, three touchdowns, one interception. Ryan, 322, three touchdowns, two interceptions. Freeman, 52 yards. Chubb, 49 with a touchdown. Duke Johnson with a touchdown. Njoku, 9 for 169 with a touchdown. Hooper, 96 yards, two touchdowns. Julio Jones, 70 with a touchdown. Ridley, 59. Glass, 87. Landy with a touchdown. Walford with a touchdown. Pretty good game. I'd love to watch that matchup. Even though I don't think the Falcons are all that good. But maybe in three years. I don't know. Maybe. Did anybody turn us down? I forget. Marquise Lee. No thank you. Darius, no thank you. I don't want any of these guys. I hope we have a good amount of money for free agency. I'd like to make one more big splash. Because technically, Schmidt's still on his rookie deal. We have 23 million, so we could probably make two splashes. Andrew Luck's there. Robert Woods is there. Huh. Nadi's there? Huh. I don't, I don't really know what to do with all this. Traquan Smith's there. 85 overall. He has no offers. We're going to go with him rather than... I forget. Who's the top guy? How, I, how do I forget that? I just said it. Oh, yeah. Robert Woods. Yeah. Robert Woods is 30 years old. That doesn't make sense. Nadi, on the other hand, 88 overall, 26 years old. How many points is he getting? 97 from the Bills? Let's go five years. 6 million. 2.66. 113. A little much. That's all right. We have 11.1 million in room. Edmonds is there. We don't need him in a linebacker. Duke Johnson. Duke Johnson. David Johnson. Callahan, we don't need... I don't really see anybody else I want to bring in. I know that's Jonathan Abram. I'm not going to do that, though. Walker. He's... Yeah. I think Merling's about to be a 79 overall. We'll probably be fine with Merling. Stick with our guy. Cody? Nah, we have Smith, I suppose. I'm going to bring in David Johnson as a backup. Kind of crazy, I know, but that'll be fine. Let's advance the week, then go to the draft. See if we can actually win the Super Bowl in one of these rebuilds. We got Johnson, we got Smith. We didn't get Naughty, really? Why not? I'd offer you so much money. Our defense is stacked. Davenport's here, that doesn't make sense. I might bring in Robbie Coleman. And by might, no, we have more, that doesn't make sense. Abram. I guess we're fine. All we really need is a defensive tackle, but I can get one in the second or third round. So we're going to take right guard Darian Foley. He's an 80 overall with quick development, 22 years old. 
92 strength, 79 run block, 81 pass block. In the second round, we're going to take our defensive tackle now, Morgan Proctor. 74 overall, norm development, 23 years old. 82 strength, 71 block shed, 72 power moves, 82 finesse. In the third round, we're taking a right end. DeAndre Davis looks pretty good. 74 overall, but he has star development, 21 years old. 82 power move, 68 finesse, 76 speed, 81 acceleration. So we have an 88 overall team, 89 offense, 93 defense. Schmitz at 82, Fournette 89, Westbrook 89, Smith 85, Coles at 80, Ebron 88. Look at this offensive line. 80, 82, 85, 83, 81. And we have a backup who's an 80. Are you kidding me? On defense. Ramsey 99, Moore 85, and Gakwe 93, Fuller 76, Proctor 74, Allen 92, Poye 85. Harrison 86, Milano 84, Jack 99, Smith 85, and Merlings a 79. When we end up missing the playoffs, which we will, I probably won't look at the stats. I probably won't look at the awards. But let's go find out together, shall we? We really did end up missing the playoffs. That makes no sense. We're an 88 overall team. We went 6 and 10. This game is so bad. Just so, so bad. 4,000 yards, 30 touchdowns, 13 interceptions. Yeah. I'm just going to end the video here. So if you liked the video, give it a like down below. If you want to get all my videos early, go to patreon.com slash headstronggaming. Pledge some money. Get all my videos at least two days early. You also get exclusive videos or one a week. One exclusive video a week. I could speak. We still have a good amount of XP. I don't get it. A ton on defense. I want to see what this is before we end this video. But make sure to subscribe. Make sure to hit that bell to be notified when all my videos go live. It helps me a ton. Helps me in the alg algorithm. All that. Everything involved with that. We're an 89 overall team. Is it just because of our quarterback? Our offensive line is stacked. Tight end's good. Receiver's good. Running back's good. Defense is a 95. Our only weak spot's a C plus. I don't get it. How many guys did we draft that worked out? We got Proctor. We drafted Fuller. We drafted Merling, obviously. Norris, we drafted the 78 overall on, on the offense. We drafted Tuller. We drafted Fuller. Or Foley, rather. We drafted Brandon. We drafted Stingley. Drafted Schmidt. I think we did pretty good, and we shouldn't be missing out on the playoffs. But I will see you guys next time. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.